everybody, I have something super cute to share with you today. It's this great pinwheel card that my friend Julie showed me how to make, and I'd like to show you how to make it. So this is what it looks like on the outside. Isn't that cool? Got a little belly band there. It wraps all the way around. Don't laugh. Belly band is what you call it. It's the technical term. And this is what it looks like when it's opened. Isn't that fun? And it actually is quite easy to make. So let's learn how to make it today, shall we? Alright, so you'll need your Simply Scored and you'll want to have the diagonal attachment for it. And put that in place, make sure it's solid. And then you start with a sheet of 8x8 eight eight, um, double-sided paper. And you're going to be scoring on the 3 inch mark on all four sides. So make sure you're in the right groove there. So when you're rotating your paper, always rotate the same direction every time. And you've got score lines on all four sides now. So I'm just going to give them a quick fold so you can see where they are. Okay. And then where those score lines meet, you're going to notch out those little areas. I have one, you're going to go on all four sides, so I have one that is already all notched out. And then the next step is to take the diagonal plate off and move your marker over to the one inch mark. And we're going to add one more score to all of these flaps. And that's a one inch score down to where that notch was cut out on all four sides. So again, rotate, always rotate in the same direction as you rotate your paper. On all four sides. Okay, and then I wanted my lace pattern to be on the outside. And I have just a plain piece of white with my stamped message for the inside. You could also put a picture in the middle so it unfolded and there was a picture. That would be so cute. Alright, then we go, we fold all the flaps in. I do if we can get a hold of them anyway. There we go. And then we fold the little flaps that we score back out. On all four sides. Now when you go to fold the card up, this is the only tricky part of the whole project. You will want to start from the bottom and fold in a counterclockwise motion, like that. And when you get to the last one, you'll notice the pattern doesn't work unless you tuck this one in, like that. Cool beans! It's so pretty. Um, so again, when you're folding it up, Fold from the bottom and go in a counterclockwise pattern and then you'll have to tuck the last one in. And that's why you want to do this with paper and not with cardstock because this needs to be pretty flexible in order to do that. So that's the basic card and then we made this gorgeous belly band for it using the Flower Frenzy die for the Big Shot and that cuts out all these different flowers and we just layer them up, but first I'm going to make them a little more dimensional with my bone folder. I call that the potato peeler technique. If there's a better name for it, I don't know what it is, but I'm sure you'll let me know in the comments. And then, oh, you got to be careful with this one because it's, it's a little more fragile than the others. And then I just layered them all up. And you want to do that with a uh, dimensional between each layer to get this gorgeous 3D flower. Show you the dimensionals there. So pretty. Now that's puffy enough though that you don't want to send it through the mail unless you have a padded envelope. And I stamped on the belly band. The belly band itself is 10 by 1 inches and you want to wrap it loosely enough that it is clear to the recipient how you open the card, that you actually slide that totally off in order to open it. So there you go. There's a fun pinwheel fold card for you to try this weekend. 
So I encourage you to turn off the computer and go get in the craft room and make this. Thanks for joining me.